Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, um, January 18th today. Um, it'll be your full length reading on YouTube under Tasha's Divine Guidance. Um, so head over there when you're finished and watch the full length version. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, you can follow the bio and TikTok in the description in YouTube. Any questions or concerns, you can send me an email. Um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints what message they have for our greater good. And I think today I'm going to use multiple decks to see what comes out. card queen of wands this is you standing in your power being proud and confident very spiritual going after what it is that you want in your life moving forward you do have an offer that's coming in um so this is in regards to career okay for many of you you are still healing from this pain this horrible pain that this deceiver caused you um and it could be at the hands of an air sign um but this person was cold and detached um, regardless, you are looking for your own stability. You're moving forward with what's right for you. What will bring you stability in your life? What will make you happy in your life? You're focused on your career, your own passionate endeavors. I'm going on to another deck, guys. But yeah, again, look at this. Four of Wands, two different decks, both of you. Th this was the last card in the Light Seers. Uh, and this is the second deck I'm using here, which I don't even remember the name of this deck, but stability you going within finding what it is that is going to make you happy what it is that makes you feel safe and secure in your life doing a lot of self-reflection a lot of meditation a lot of healing let's get a couple more from this deck yeah you also, for many of you, have a soul connection coming in. This is either someone you know from your past or a past life soul connection. This is a divine counterpart that's coming in. Um, and that's because you're standing in your power. You're in your Queen of Wands energy. So, yeah, you're also this Queen of Swords, not taking anything off of anyone. No BS. You're not tolerating anything. You're going after your own stability in life, your own dreams and passions. You know, financial opportunities that bring you that stability within you. You're not about worrying about what anyone else thinks, does, or says. You have no interest. Okay, let's go on to the angel answers. See what advice they have. Okay. Okay, guys. Not the right time. Be patient. In divine timing, they need you to trust and know that your manifestations, what you want moving forward in your life is coming. They want you to have faith and believe. You will have improving health. Work on your mindset. Projecting positive outcomes for yourself. Um, not worrying that the worst case scenario will happen if you make a decision, okay? Projecting the best case scenario. Because it's coming in the near future. All the things you're manifesting is coming. It's coming in the near future. It's coming. You are also going to be meeting new people. Um, God is bringing people in your life that are spiritually in alignment with you. These people are not like anyone you've known in the past. These people are there and they're sent to help you, to guide you, to give you sound advice. Call in the angels and saints, guys, if you need guidance. They're there to help you, but you have to ask, okay? Let go of control issues. You know, trust in the divine and let go. Listen to your intuition and um, take the guidance that they're giving you. Because your intuition, you know, that's the angels and saints giving you this inner guidance, okay? I'm going to go on to the old school deck here. Brighter weight. See what comes out. Wow. Okay. sudden change the sudden change is in regards to your financial stability um, and this is you being wise with the money that you are about to receive 
You're not expecting this, but this is a financial stability security that's coming in um, that's meant for you. And you're not gonna just give it out to anyone. You're gonna be very wise. This is part of your karma. This is your good karma, okay? And it's a wish fulfillment. That's what's coming in, okay? get one more yeah you working with other people helping other people um, sharing your words of wisdom your light your love is giving you so much strength and encouragement empowerment to move forward into a time of peace in your life oh we just got three of them yeah you know what <laughs> you have divine love right? The competition from the outside energies are not affecting you because you're focused on your Ten of Cups. Um, emotional fulfillment, all the things that you desire in your life that you know are coming. So you're unbothered by anyone's drama because of their jealousy, because they want what you have. You're just unbothered by it. You don't care. It doesn't matter to you because you're the high priestess. You're highly intuitive. You're very connected to God, to the divine. You listen um, to your intuition because you know that God is guiding you. And so you don't have any worries. You don't have any worries. You don't compete with anyone and you don't care if anyone competes with you. Wow, just threw on the floor. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Two cards came out of the Romance Oracle. Uh, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And this is a realization that you have now. You know, all of this materialistic stuff that's going on, people so fixated on what they can have, who they can impress, it doesn't impress you. You don't care anymore. That's, you can see the bigger picture. The next card that came out was passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present, enjoy it. That's because your light is amazing. Your light is emanating and other people can feel that energy, but not everyone's worthy of it. So just remember that. Um, not everyone is worth your energy. Um, there are people out there that just want to take from you. So they're not deserving of it. I hope this message helped you guys. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.